Hi everyone, well I received a really really cool uh, gift today from uh, a friend of mine who, uh, well he likes to kind of go as Roger, but um, I know him as Sven. Sven saw the uh, Art Effects Catwoman statue review that I did and uh, because of the outfit that statue had on um, it triggered something in Sven's mind and he thought uh, something that he had that he didn't really end up liking very much. Um, I think it didn't come with a stand either. This is basically the Piscine, uh, Celine, um, or Selena they call it for copyright reasons, uh, the character from Underworld, the Underworld movies, you know, the vampires versus werewolves. Um, the outfit is amazing. The main reason I think Sven, because uh, he said this to me, he said the main reason he wanted to send it to me was so I could use the outfit for a future Catwoman um, figure like the sideshow one six scale cat woman I got on the way that comes with two heads and uh, now thanks to Sven I can just swap the other cat woman head I can remove the corset on this and you basically got yourself like a skin tight leather cat suit and the boots she's wearing um, I'll give you a good look at them in a minute but they'll also come in handy so Sven seriously man I mean this figure I kinda don't wanna use it as a cat woman now because this is um, it's really well done and the coat as well I've got some unboxing footage that I'm going to splice in between for you uh, so you can check out some of that as well. That was shot in the daylight. total Barbie fest. Uh, so I had to do some black around the eyes just to um, give it a little bit more of a stronger striking look. But it's not the worst. It, it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's not the worst. <laughs> it's almost the worst. <laughs> so like I say, the head sculpt isn't the best, but with lighting tricks, you can, I mean, if you're looking at this right now, that's literally just because I've got a torch held above her head and I'm shining the light down to kind of accentuate the cheekbones and get the features of the face to really jump out. Um, like Kate Beckinsale in the film, she does have the, you know, the kind of gaunt, not gaunt cheeks, but you know, she looks uh, very vampire-y, you know, <laughs> what's the word, I don't know, but the features of the face are very strong on her. And on the figure, um, not so much, like, you know, depending on where I hit the light. See there, for instance, you can see it's quite a full face. But if I shine the light from above, so the up cheekbone just kind of jumps out at you and makes it look a lot more like Kate Beckinsale. So when I'm doing the showcase video, I'm going to have to light this thing from above most of the time to make those shadows fall in the right place. So I just wanted to make this video just to give you guys a little glimpse because there really isn't much of this figure on the internet. Um, it's something that I think a lot of people will probably buy just for the clothing, uh, the body is not the best as I say it's very very difficult to pose I can't even get her arms uh, to get into kind of action shots at the moment it's just it's too scary um, so I'm going to swap out the body before I attempt to do any major posing for you know photographs for the showcase video and stuff um, obviously you're gonna want her holding her arms out with the guns and kind of you know action stuff use the dynamic uh, stand to get it look like she's leaping and get the coat blowing in the wind and all the stuff that has to be done with a character like this so give me some time, and Sven, thank you so much. You know uh, I'm going to hook up that Assassin's Creed thing for you, the one you're after. Uh, I'm on the case with that, and don't worry, you will have that soon. Because um, Sven's a Assassin's Creed uh, maniac, man. He loves it. He's got all the Assassin's Creed stuff. But he's missing one uh, particular piece, which I just happened to be able to get my hands on. So um, one good turn deserves another. And Sven, I'll be hooking up for you very soon, dude. I am looking forward to getting to work with this. This is awesome stuff. Um, the zip, by the way, um, obviously this zip comes down to about here. And she's also got two long zips in her legs. Uh, I don't know how that works as far as getting the suit off. Uh, when I took off the corset just to see how things worked, I did try to take the suit off, but it was very, very tight. So it's not going to be easy, but it's doable. You guys can get a look. Yeah, see, the coat's nice and long just uh, sort of hovers above the sort of the ground there it's 
slice the way at the back, it naturally just kind of pleats out the way it should. You see all the nice design. Really cool. She came with some awesome weapons. I couldn't believe what she came with. She comes with a sword. You can use that for the crow, maybe, or Selena. Uh, an Uzi that actually has the foldable um, stock thing, you know, for recoil. Awesome. She comes with loads of guns. She's holding the two guns there. She also comes with these two guns, and uh, they actually move, and the clips come out just like Hot Toys stuff. And there's a bullet in there. So I was really surprised by that. I thought they'd just be molded and uh, with non moving parts. The shotgun doesn't actually uh, cock or anything, but it's a really nice uh, sculpt. Looks kind of like the one from the crow, so maybe I can use that for the crow now. I think maybe the one from the crow had some silver on it, but um, that'll do for that. Also comes with uh, three of these shotgun shells and a laptop which was interesting you can use that for Hitman maybe um, yeah Now it wasn't just the um, high scene figure that Sven sent along, he actually sent along another little extra something um, and I had no idea what it was going to be and it was actually a Hot Toys dynamic stand. Now I haven't got the rod in at the back at the moment, um, I'm just using the kind of velvety kind of um, just default base that's on the bottom. Uh, but these dynamic stands, the first I've, I've seen one in person, Sven is awesome man, I'm going to be able to use this for... Um, Batman stuff and you know I did have the Man of Steel um, base that's kind of like a, dyma a dynamic stand but because of the big sort of Superman base it's hard to use it for anything else but this one uh, I'm going to be able to use this for Batman and whatever else needs to be uh, used. Let me just give you a look at these boots. Um, yeah, it's really really top quality stuff. Maybe some more light. See that? Really, really, really well done. And the ankle articulation is amazing. I think it's actually kind of like the Assassin's Creed um, Hot Toys figure where you can actually uh, separate because you can do everything with this. Look at that. There's no restriction because of the boots. So that's not going to be a problem when it comes to posing. And the boots are really, like I say, just great quality. Feel very tough. Like they're not going to start to thread and rip and stuff. I've got some other boots that I've had off eBay. Uh, definitely not as high quality as these. Um, yeah. The corset again, I'll just get the light out so you can see that. Just all the, the work with the sort of Celtic uh, patterns and stuff. 
Uh, these wrist guards, they kind of come off. You can remove them if you like. The outfit, that's the, that's the draw for this. Not the body, not the head sculpt, but the, the coat, the, the full body suit, the corset, the boots. Amazing. Um, the tailoring is just fantastic on this. Uh, and the hair's done really well as well. You can work with it. I put a little bit of gel in there just to try and calm it down a bit. Um, but yeah, if I can change out the body, you can even be able to get her in the crouching poses, like at the beginning of the first film in the intro when she's on top of the, I think, the church. Uh, I'd love to be able to pull off stuff like that. Maybe use the Spider-Man 3 uh, base, get some poses with her. But I would have to swap out the body, and that is a bit of a big job because you have to undo all the boots and the corset again. And getting the uh, sort of skin-tight suit is not going to be easy getting that off because I did try uh, earlier and it was proving to be quite f scary. <laughs> It's really tight. I don't know how you how they even got it on there, to be honest. But I'll get it done. Um, Sven, thank you so much, man. Um, I'm going to get your uh, Assassin's Creed treat to you. And this base as well, the Dynamic Hot Toys base. Um, thank you, Sven. And I hope you enjoy the videos that are going to be coming up. Obviously, they'll be dedicated to you, man. And, um, yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Sven. A million times. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon.